welcome to my baking week. Today we are going to make some biscuits. It's nice and easy. All you need is 150 grams of self-raisin flour, 50 grams of sugar, 100 grams of butter, and two trays. Let's begin. Before we weigh our ingredients, let's remember to wash our hands. They're nice and clean, so we're almost ready to weigh out our flour, sugar and butter. To begin, add 100 grams of butter. Now this needs to be nice and soft. You can use a whisk or a fork. Add 50 grams of caster sugar. and 150 grams of self-raisin flour. Once you have measured out your flour, you can add that to the sugar and butter. All we do now is mix it all together. Now here's the fun bit. Make sure you have washed your hands and ask your adults. But let's mix it all together with our fingertips. This is the best bit. This is my favorite bit. Once you've mixed it all together, it will form a door. And I would like for you to make these little round balls and pop them on your tray. Now make sure you butter your tray or you add some non-stick baking paper. Just like that and keep going. Once your biscuits are all set on the tray, to flatten them out, you could use a fork, but very gently you can flatten them down. Just like this. And when you think you're ready, let's pop them in the oven for about 80 minutes. Make sure adults you do this bit and keep an eye on them so they don't burn. Let's pop them in. When they go a golden brown colour, they should be ready. It is time for the biscuit challenge. Please make sure for the biscuit challenge that you are maybe outside or somewhere where you don't mind getting crumbly biscuits all over the floor because it might get a little bit messy. All you need is a biscuit and your forehead and you're good to go. So the aim of the challenge is to get the biscuit from the head to the mouth without using your hands. I have three turns, get your biscuit ready. Let's do the biscuit challenge! Here we go. <laughs> Did it! In one! Yes! While you're waiting for your biscuits to bake, I would like for you to do some biscuit art. So here I have an example. I have drawn a butterfly and it's got some biscuit wings or you could do an umbrella with a biscuit top. Here we have some curtains as our biscuits and here we have a penny farthing. So have lots of fun doing your biscuit art but do not forget about your biscuits in the oven because we don't want them to burn. Have fun and after this video make sure you share your pictures with me on Instagram or Twitter at Natasha underscore on stage. I've got my biscuits out of the oven and I'm going to wait a little while for them to cool down. So while we're doing this, we have some more biscuit art just for you, but this time it's more of a challenge. Okay, I would like for you to melt some chocolate, but adults, please do this. Be very, very careful with the kettle. It's incredibly hot. So adults, you do that. And we are going to do some biscuit art. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Let's melt some chocolate. I'm melting white chocolate, but you can melt whatever you like. 
chocolate in and add some butter. Now this is going to set very quickly, so you have five minutes to create some biscuit art. I'm going to make a biscuit house. Five minutes, let's do this. Make sure you wash your hands before you do this. Why did the Oreo go to the dentist? Because 
It lost its filling. <laughs> I hope you've had lots of fun today and don't forget when your biscuits are nice and cool to decorate them and I would love to see how they turn out. So please leave some comments below, hit the like button. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Natasha underscore on stage. Thank you so, so much for joining me today and hopefully I will see you again tomorrow at one o'clock. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, notification bell and the like button. See you tomorrow. Happy baking.